So today what we're going to do is we're going to plant out a fix this strawberry bed. I'm going to take the runners from the old strawberry plants and plant them in the new bed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So today what we're going to do is we're going to plant out a fix this strawberry bed. Um, you saw me in one of my early videos uh, create this no dig lazy bed for the strawberries. So what I'm going to do with the old strawberry plants is I'm going to take the runners from the old strawberry plants and plant them in the new bed because the old these plants are getting to uh, probably their third year so they're probably in the last year of production so I'm going to take out all the old plants and plant the runners in the new bed so I'll show you how I do that so here's one of the runners all I'm going to do is I'm going to peel back all these dead leaves uh, this is probably this is a, a plant that looks like it's about one year old. Um, this is a plant that looks a little bit older. You see this? You see the thick uh, root that's developed on there. What I will do with that one is I will compost it down, and I'm going to plant. I'm going to keep this one. This one's a younger plant. This is what I'm talking about as a runner. You see that stalk there? That's the stalk that came off the mother plant, and there is the baby plant with the roots so we'll just take that stalk off take these dead leaves off and just plant that yeah so we we'll plant that I'll show you how we plant them I'm gonna use the new knee pads that my sister bought me uh, that you'll see in one of my earlier videos um, those presents, those little goodies that she brought me round. Um, this is what this is ideal for. I feel quite comfy. Those. The way I'm going to plant these is just I'm, going to, I'm not going to use anything too technical. My hands are a good enough measure. So I'm going to take about a hand span uh, of distance because it is no dig. It's very easy to make a hole. Just pop the plant in, and that's it. Jobs are good and same again. Just bring the mulching around the plant. And if you remember how I did this bed, I'm not too worried about the wood, the big wood chips that are on top, simply because of the amount of compost that I used underneath. those roots will very easily reach the soil, go through that compost and reach the soil as this all breaks down. See this is one of the problems that I had with this bed, is this horrible couch grass. And the thing about this is every single bit of that root, look how long that root is, Every single bit of that root, unless you get it all out, um, every single when you dig it, that root snaps off. That root snaps off into little bits, and there you've got four bits, four new plants. So that's the horrible thing about couch grass. I won't just. If it was the summer and my compost piles were getting as hot as they normally do, I would just stick that in a compost pile and let the compost, the heat of the compost pile, deal with it. But because it's winter, my compost piles aren't getting um, that hot. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to throw it into the bucket that I'm making banana peel fertilizer from, uh, and let the water uh, let let it drown in there and basically become mush. With couch grass, you've got to get every single bit out, and this is why when you prepare an odig bed and you have got things like couch grass to deal with. There's no, there's no issue with actually digging it the first time, making sure that bed's ready. It's pretty much what I've done with all my beds um, before I before I started uh, this garden. I had in my mind using the no dig method, but rather than just go no dig for my very first season, because I 
because of the amount of weeds that I had in here, loads of dock, loads of dandelion, and it was just full of cooch grass. Rather than just um, mulch over it like you saw me do with this bed, what I did was I dug it all um, and took out the weeds and took out the deep tap roots, took out the long windy cooch grass roots and made sure uh, that it was close to as weed free as possible before I went completely no dig. And we've been no dig here for about five years now. Uh, probably th this, this season's going to be our sixth year. So five complete years we've done no dig and this is going to be our sixth year. When it comes to no dig, I'm not a no dig puritan and you'll see what I mean in my later videos. See, this is very quick if, if I'd uh, pick the strawberry plants out beforehand, this would have been even quicker. It would have been an even easier job. They are very resilient plants or strawberries. The thing to bear in mind about strawberries is that they're most productive between year two to year four. After about year four they start um, producing less and less and they become less fruit fruitful. Um, I mean, we, we've always been quite lucky with strawberries. Um, I bought eight plants um, about eight years ago. Uh, all these plants are from those very eight plants that I first bought. So take that one and put it in that hole. Yeah. Just make sure the whole roots go in. All the roots, that's it. So look, all these long roots. Put the roots in, make the hole a bit deeper. Can make the hole a bit deeper with your hand. Push the roots in at the bottom, yeah? And then you just cover it up like that. And then push everything, all the soil, into the plant. So, are there any long roots in there? So, again, push those roots in first, because you don't want those roots to be sticking out on the top. So push those roots in first. Yeah, that's it. And then, just squash it in. That's it, well done. That's it, now you're squishing the soil. How many, how many, um, how many are these done? You count them and find out. Here, put this one in as well. Here. Yeah. yeah. In that hole there. That's it, well done. What are you going to do with this soil? Well, what we're going to do with that soil, Paddy, is we're going to... There's a golden treasure under this. No, just like we made an old dig bed here, we'll mulch that, we'll leave it uncovered for a week or so. If any weeds want to come up, then let the weeds come up, and then we can weed that out. But what we'll do is, after about a week's time, or next time I get a chance, really, um, I'll Weak. mulch it again. I'll sheet mulch it with cardboard, and then I'll add some more compost and some more chicken manure compost and some more wood chips to finish it off. We'll leave it there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.